I mean, I, I think, you know, certainly those things, for, but for a guy that big, you know, the, the athleticism part and, and the ability to tuck the ball down and make plays, I think that's always been, um, I don't really view him as just a pro-style guy, even though he's got that, that good length and the good size, and, and I think he's got a lot to his game. And then last time I asked you about the quarterback battle, you talked about what are you looking for to separate, and one of them is taking care of the football. And, sure. Um, when it comes to that specific skill, um, obviously, what, what do you look for in that? I know it's checking down and making sure you don't turn the ball over. And yeah. Start with it, but with two guys. Yeah, I mean, I think... Sometimes we've had all these things. It really comes down to, in our opinion right now, the decision-making pieces you're talking about, you know, and I think so much of that comes from just hours and hours of preparation uh, so that when you're in the moment, you know, you're not necessarily trying to force things, taking what the defense gives you. But then on the other token, when the defense is aggressive, going and, and making them pay and, and, and throwing that completion in tight spaces. So. I think decision making is going to be critical. Outside of that, you're going to kind of get a feel too from a playmaker standpoint that when things aren't there, who, who has a knack for making plays? Uh, and then obviously the leadership part's going to be tremendous. You know, through ups, through downs, who's this team going to rally behind? Uh, who's going to be able to stay even keel and uh, ultimately play consistently? I mean, obviously we didn't do it this last year with Kyle Bates like being the guy, but I mean, as going into this, having this quarterback, but what's it like for you? Is it exciting to kind of see different guys look at them in different lights? What's it like? Yeah, I, I think exciting could be a word you could use. You know, I mean, you always uh, – <laughs> Look, anytime from, from us doing this for so long, anytime there's a, a quarterback battle, there's excitement there, there's natural energy. There's also the part of like, okay, there's training camp and then you get live bullets and games. I do feel very fortunate that we've been able to see, you know, Tyler Macon and Brady Cook play in games. We've evaluated Jack in games, so that, that gives you a, a little bit better feeling. Um, so, excitement. Stress, you know, it's just it's all part of the profession, and uh, but but we're excited. These guys are eager. Uh, there's no complacency that you're you're dealing with, and so I think that part of it's exciting. Bush, from a logistics standpoint, when do you have to know who the starter is? When does Eli have to? I mean, you're not going to tell us yeah, next week, but yeah. when do you have to know? I, I don't know. I mean, I think it's a great question, right? But I also think this: anytime you're in year one with a quarterback. You just never know, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't start for him until that first game to see how he reacts. Right. Uh, even from a leadership standpoint, you know, whether it's a month or two weeks before the first game, if you name a guy, I don't know. I don't know if that really makes that big a difference, you know. And when you look at the, the longevity of this thing or you look at Tom Brady getting in versus the New England Patriots, you never really get that first year of your true identity and who you are with the team um, until you've already played for a year, if that makes sense. So I think there's some advantages, certainly. But at the end of the day, we're going to be coaching these guys like they're the guy, regardless of how this thing plays out, to get them ready for week one. You know the, the landscape with the portal right now, and quarterback is a little different than any other position. I I don't know a better way. Were you surprised at all that both those guys stayed when when they would have had the option not to, at Tyler and Brady? Um, no, I just think like uh, certainly regionally, right? When you're from the state, uh, it, it's a dream come true to take snaps under center for this university, and and you got an opportunity to do mm -hmm. so, and uh, both of them are confident in their abilities and are going to get every opportunity they get. You know, so I always feel like it's an open door policy and. And I'll never tell them something or do something that's not in the best of their interest. Uh, I'm glad they're both here. They both should have stayed. They got an unbelievable opportunity and need to put all their energy into it. Do you guys go into camp? I, I mean, obviously the best guy's going to play, and you're going to determine that over the next month. But Brady and Tyler have been here, and, you know, they've played in games for you. Does somebody have to go take the job from them if they're going to win it? Yeah, I think that's fair. I do. I just think it, in general, from a knowledge standpoint, those are guys that have already taken a bunch of those reps. Uh, and I do think it's fair to say for Jack, for Sam, uh, they're going to have to go take those reps. And, and they know that and they understand that. And we're excited to see how it plays out. Is it Sam has a lot of hype coming in. Is it realistic to think that a kid that showed up here in June can can get on the field early? Absolutely. I mean, I just think in this day and age in college football, I don't know what mm -hmm. the stat is, but 
But of the teams in the SEC, I think half of them are going to be breaking in new starters, you know. And so whether whether it's a, a huge difference between an 18-year-old doing that and maybe a, an older guy could be, right? But we've all been in those situations where an 18-year-old's ready for it and, and see how that plays out. Well, that's thing. You mentioned the age difference. I'm curious what it's like in your room dealing with everything from a kid that was in high school two months ago yeah. to a guy that's married and in his seventh year of college. Yeah, I kind of think it's like uh, it's fun, yeah. you know, and we certainly rely on Sam Horn to to keep things light because I think the other guys are extremely mature, uh, you know. So <laughs> we just uh, it's it's it keeps things very entertaining every day. So yeah, great.